Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today I'm here to cook one of the famous North Indian dish, Kashmiri Rogan Josh. Okay, let's start cooking. So what I'm doing is I'm using instant pot. I switched on the instant pot to sorter mode. And guys, if the sorter mode uh, is 13 minutes or someone else will, will be like 10 minutes, but you just keep it on, keep on switching it on to sorter mode until we complete the initial process. All right, uh, the lamb or the mutton going in straight in the oil. I'm using just a normal uh, seed oil, uh, but uh, the best option would be mustard oil. That's what the usual authentic uh, Kashmiri Rogan Josh been cooked in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna saute the a lamb or mutton. Just uh, give it a nice mix. So this is uh, something like uh, browning the meat, okay? We're gonna ensure that uh, the meat is uh, seared on all the sides and then we're gonna add, start adding the spices and then we should go from there. So what I did is, I'm uh, just to get the flavor in, uh, I'm adding some mustard powder, all right? I just uh, powdered some uh, mustard seeds and then I'm adding it in. Just make sure that uh, the meat is browned and seared all the sides. I'm adding uh, cinnamon and clove powder probably a quarter of a teaspoon and some nice uh, cardamom powder so if you see guys I'm gonna use all powders I'm not gonna use anything uh, dry spices all the, all of them I'm gonna use uh, which are made into powder okay And uh, the other thing I want to let you guys know, for this recipe, you need to have a meat on the bone. So, and that it's got a lot of uh, uh, stock in it. So you need to have the flavor. So the bone will give you add on flavor for the dish as well. Looking nice. There you go, I'm adding some broth, you can add any broth, uh, lamb, mutton broth or chicken broth or vegetable broth, it doesn't matter because we already have the meat there. So the other thing uh, we do in this Kashmiri Rogan Josh is, we mix the chili powder and ginger garlic paste in the water because we don't want to burn on the chili pa uh, chili powder. So this is the authentic way of preparing. So what I'm doing is I'm using Kashmiri chili powder and then mixing it in water and then I'm going to add ginger garlic paste as well. There are two ways of uh, uh, Rogan Josh, which is prepped in India. There's one a Muslim Kashmiri Rogan Josh, another one is uh, Kashmiri Pandit's Rogan Josh. Now this method is uh, uh, the Muslim way of doing it and the Kashmiri pundits they don't use garlic much in it or ginger in it so give it a nice mix and then this mixture can go in straight into the pot that's it what happens is uh, I'm just diluting it in the water and then it will take slowly, the pieces will uh, get the uh, spiciness slowly while boiling and, and it's going to be very nice. Uh, this one is uh, fried onion paste. So I fried some onions and uh, grinded them into paste. And then I'm going to add it. I 
as you can see it's got a very nice bright red color it comes from the Kashmiri chili powder uh, turmeric just a quarter of a teaspoon I'm gonna add a coriander powder and the other thing uh, we're gonna add is uh, funnel seed powder so it's also called somf so I'm gonna add a bit of uh, funnel seed powder if you don't have funnel seed powder you can use uh, cumin powder that's absolutely fine there's no problem for that Okay, and uh, I'm gonna add uh, one tomato puree. I've just used a uh, raw tomato and made it into puree, and I'm adding it. And that's it. We're gonna close it. I did not all add any salt, guys. I'm gonna add the salt before we're taking out. 25 minutes, meat stew switched on. We should be good. I'm gonna serve it with the uh, pita bread, or you can also use non bread, guys. So, but uh, I've got some pita bread and which is going to be very nice because you can dunk the bread uh, in the in the sauce and also eat with it. So I'm just toasting them. What I just did is I just basted them with some olive oil and then I toast them. And there you go. Two, one. And that's it. There you go, it looks nice and yummy. I'm adding the salt as for the taste. There you go, nicely done. Give it a nice mix. Just one last thing. Richer spice in the world, saffron. Which is going to give you a nice flavor and a rich color. And uh, let's plate it guys. There you go. So I also did is uh, for garnish. I've thinly sliced the ginger and I cut them into julienne. Small strips of uh, ginger and uh, some uh, coriander. And then we're just going to garnish it. And I've got my toasted uh, pita bread ready. I've got my rogan just ready. And it's time to eat. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much. And stay tuned guys.